Spoilers ahead, obviously. The Dothraki aren't dead. Actually plausible theory or just deeply wishful thinking on my part? Look, this was bad. It was almost irredeemably bad. The fact that a resource and a people that Daenerys Targaryen very clearly loves worked extremely hard for, won through the deepest hardships that have been discussed as more or less invincible. Only a fool would meet the Dothraki in an open field. Were swallowed up, at least in viewer times, basically in an instant? is really frustrating. It's like they marched into a wood chipper. And yes, that is exactly what would happen if the Dothraki charged into the army of the dead. It would take longer than it looked, but it's what would happen, which is why, tactically, it's a goddamn idiot move. The Night King doesn't care how many people he chows through. And here's the thing, neither do Danny or Jon or Sansa or Tyrion or Varys. They want to give the Night King a good show and then stab him in the God's Wood. So, is this a thing that actually happened, or are we just meant to think that? I have ten reasons why I think it might actually be a fake. Number one, our heroes know that they're going to have to fight the Lannisters if they defeat the Night King. And they probably shouldn't throw everything they have at the Night King if they want to fight that battle and win that as well. Especially since they know that throwing the Dothraki against an army of a bajillion dead is going to end up the way that it appears to have ended up. Number two. We don't actually see them die. We certainly don't see many of them die. We see them run into the line of the dead, and I'm sure that a number of Dothraki died. We see this from John and Danny's perspective, but then very quickly we shift to the perspective of the battlefield, which is not a good view. We never come back to Danny and John's perspective to watch the winking out of the lights that we see from the battlefield. If we did, according to this theory, what we would see is a bunch of Dothraki throwing their swords down, and then breaking off to retreat to a rendezvous point somewhere off the battlefield where they won't be in danger. Three! They filmed this episode in 55 nights. They had time to film more Dothraki dying. They didn't do that. Now, you can say that there's a good reason to do this, which is just to show that the dead are a frickin' wood chipper. And that works, but it also works either way. It works for us as viewers when we're watching it happen in this episode, it also works if it comes back one or two episodes from now and we see that the Dothraki are back. We still got that feeling of, like, there is no way to win this battle. We still experienced that emotion, whether or not the Dothraki are coming back. Number four. This is bad payoff. It's just bad. It's like loading, like spending three seasons loading up Chekhov's gun and then shooting somebody with a bulletproof vest on one time. It's just bad. Which is why a lot of people, myself included, have been left feeling very let down by the idea that this, basically this entire race of people has been destroyed for nothing? Apparently, except to, like, make me experience an emotion. Like, if we're taking it at face value, that's what happened. An entire race of people gave up their life that was fine, com came over, and died to give the viewer an emotion. That's it. Well, I guess also they also gave an emotion to the people on the battlefield, but like, come on. Number five, Jorah is fine. He's not fine. He was fine. He came back. Him and like one horse came back from this. Also, I didn't even write this one down. Ghost ran off into there too, and we never see what happened to Ghost. I think that he went with the Dothraki. I mean, I don't actually, I don't know if I actually think this, I just want to think it. It only makes sense for Jorah to come back, and for all, none of the Dothraki, not Ghost, nobody else to come back. Especially if we don't get to see Ghost die. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Unless this was a pre-planned thing. And that's why we don't see John and Danny witnessing the death of the Dothraki. I'm sorry if I pronounce words wrong from Game of Thrones. I started out with the books. There's like one plot twist in this episode. It comes at the end. It's very good. We think it's going to be Jon Snow. It's not. I loved it. But that's not enough at all. And I really want there to be more good, like, pulling the wool over the eyes of the viewers. And this would be an amazing one. Eight. Uh, making it look like the Dothraki are dead turns a case of very bad tactics into a case of very good tactics. And I want to believe 
I just, I want to believe that our heroes of this story are not as dumb as this episode makes them appear. Cersei Lannister no doubt has spies at Winterfell. She no doubt is going to get reports of what happened there, making it appear to absolutely everyone that the Dothraki and the Unsullied are pretty much completely demolished is very good for our heroes. If the Dothraki aren't actually dead and we still have an army to fight with. Which leads me to number nine. We're gonna have to fight the Lannisters. And right now what we have is like some Greyjoys hanging out over there. Uh, some, not very many, some. We've got Cersei Lannister's unnaturally southpaw brother. We've got Brienne of Tarth, which is not nothing. We got like a couple wildlings. We got like two Unsullied and uh, Sam Tarly got him. Uh, a couple of gravely injured dragons. Basically, what we set up is if this is the case, if this is the world we live in, Cersei wins the Game of Thrones, right? Like, how are we gonna take down the army? There isn't a way. There is nothing left. We've got a bunch of children and old people in the crypts. And not even that many of them. Also, Sam is alive? How the Ten, and finally, I don't think Danny would do this. I just don't think she would do it. Not the Danny I know. Smarter than this, loves the Dothraki more than this. I don't like it, and I don't like it. Have I mentioned I don't like it? Now, of course, I am completely willing to say that this is probably not what's up. Uh, and so here are four reasons why it's probably not what's up. One, like, it looks a lot like the Dothraki die. They go straight on in, all of them are going, they really, did a great job of making it look like this is what happened. If it isn't what happened, then they could have given us a couple more clues. And it feels like when you like rewatch the scene, I don't know how they got away. Like, I don't know. Two, Millisand lighting the swords makes it harder for this tactic to work. It means that they have to like throw down or extinguish their swords somehow before retreating. So having that not happen seems like it would be an ideal tactic if this was what was going to happen. Though, I'm also perfectly willing to chalk that up to just like, it looks awesome, so we're making a show. Might it, like, we gotta make it look awesome. Number three, Game of Thrones is certainly not immune to bad writing. Like, this could just be a thing. We might be headed into a world where we get a last final season that isn't that surprising, that doesn't have a lot of good big moments. And since overall reactions to last night were pretty universally positive, despite the fact that, like, unless there are a lot of payoffs that I see, I'm not gonna feel that way about this episode. Uh, it just felt very, sort of, like, as expected. It all, like, the tactic worked. Every, like, there were a couple of good moments, but mostly it was just one very long battle scene. I'm not, com like, I'm not complaining about long battle scenes, that's fine, but, like, it didn't feel like an episode full of good payoffs, but people were really positive about it anyway, which makes me think maybe we don't need a Game of Thrones finale that has a lot of good payoffs. But we'll see, especially if the Dothraki aren't dead. And finally, number four, the probably the biggest reason why it's most likely that the Dothraki are actually dead, uh, and I'm just seeing things in the dark here, as we all are <laughs> with episodes like these. I'm real mad. And so I have a lot of bias. If this is what happened, I am not gonna like this show anymore. And so I'm looking for reasons for it to not have happened. Like the Unsullied did their thing. They did their thing and a lot, and some of them lived. And like we watched them do their thing and there was a payoff and they did it well and it was great. The Dothraki did their thing and we didn't even see it. We just watched them get torn apart. And that is not good writing. It's complete BS, and as I may have mentioned before, I hate it. So that's the main thing. I'm probably seeing things that aren't there because I really want this to not be true.